What is up all of my horror fanatics out there? Welcome back to Late Night Frats. I'm the Late Night Frats horror leader, the Jay Sloan or Jordan, back here to do another video for you. And as always, guys, I want to thank everyone for tuning in this evening. Now, last week we did a theme, and we actually did our Criminal Minds theme, so if you haven't checked it out, please go do so. It was a great week overall. So this week we're doing horror battles, and uh, before I start, I just want to apologize if I sound funny in any way. I've been sick the past few days, and I'm kind of stocked up, so... That is why I sound a little off today. It's because I'm really stopped up. I have a sinus infection or something. But anyway, um, the two films that I chose to battle for you this week are Psycho versus Bad Ronald. Okay, so I'm going to start off by reviewing Psycho, which really needs no introduction. This is one of the most iconic horror films of all time. This one, of course, is directed by Alfred Hitchcock, starring Anthony Perkins, Janet Leigh, Vera Miles... And the basic plot of this one, which like I said, it really needs no introduction. Everyone knows about Psycho. But the basic plot around this one, uh, at first, follows a character named Marion Crane, um, who I won't spoil why she does this, but she stops off at the Bates Motel uh, just to spend the night, and the night turns into her uh, burial ground. Basically, it turns into forever. Um, well, the hotel is not her burial ground. Something else happens there. But she never leaves the hotel is basically what I'm getting at. Um, and it's through the movie, it's, it's a wonder of who is doing this and, you know, who's killing, uh, who, who killed her and who is killing people. Um, and of course, uh, Anthony Perkins plays Norman Bates, uh, who says his mother's a little bit, a little bit off. And he seems like this really nice character, really naive, um, guy who wouldn't hurt a fly. Um, and, uh, that is not the case, guys. As everyone knows, as the film goes on, we find the shocking ending uh, that shocked theaters, um, shocked people all over the world, uh, and one of the most shocking endings and reveals of all time. Norman Bates is, uh, you know, is the killer. He has a split personality, uh, one half of his personality, of course, being his mother. Um, and I do love this movie. It's a classic um, Really, really love Alfred Hitchcock's um, shots, his direction, and the way he took the film. The acting is great. Everything about this movie is really, really awesome. The sequels, I liked part two a lot, part three. Um, but we're not going to talk about the sequels, just the original. So it's an absolute classic. What more can I say? Everyone knows about this film, and that is Sokka. Okay, so the next film is Bad Ronald. This film, I believe, was made in 1974. Whereas Sokka was made in 1960, so there's quite a time difference there. <clears throat> and this one is basically about a kid named Ronald, who seems a little bit weird in the beginning, but, you know, still, he's, he's a kid, he seems nice. Once again, much like Norman Bates, couldn't hurt a fly. Um, very quickly, Ronald makes a mistake. He accidentally kills a kid, kills this little girl. Uh, buries, he buries her body and goes back to his mom and says, you know, I killed this girl, what should I do? Should I turn myself in? His mother, of course, does not want that to happen. So she takes little Ronald um, and basically builds um, a, a separate section in the bathroom off of the house to where it looks like a wall. And basically he lives within these walls. Um, she says he'll be living there until they can get out of town, until they can get out and there's no more suspicions. And of course, um, something happens to his mother to where she is not able to um, get him out and he lives in this... Uh, this bathroom, basically the, these walls, he lives in them for I don't know how long until new people finally move in and Ronald starts to terrorize these people creating peepholes to look at them and uh, it's it's actually a really good movie I highly enjoyed this one um, I would recommend it, it's not going to be for everybody, definitely um, but uh, yeah, a good movie definitely bad, Ronald, give it a watch I think this is the only release you can pick up uh, the uh, it's the quality of this is pretty shitty. This is a pretty shitty. Um, looks like it's a made-for-TV movie. Looks like it's just a VHS basically. But uh, this is the only way you can own it, and it wasn't that much. It was like eleven bucks. So I would highly recommend giving Bad Ronald a watch. And uh, yeah, there's my review over Bad Ronald. Okay, now that I've reviewed both films, very briefly, it is time to battle them to the death. Starting with round one, kills. Which film do I think had better kills? Now. Neither of these films were focused on kills or a body count, but I will have to say Psycho uh, had better kills overall than Bad Ronald. Um, the, uh, one of the most iconic kills in, uh, in history, in film history, is in Psycho, and you guys know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, without a doubt, Psycho takes round one. 
Round two, story and originality. Which film do I think was more original? Now, Sacco was made in 1960, and I did like the Sacco storyline better than Bad Ronald, so I'm going to have to go with Sacco, of course. Uh, Bad Ronald had a very interesting storyline. Uh, a kid uh, killing someone accidentally, his mother loving him so much that she puts him uh, in the walls of her house where he stays. It was very interesting. It was very intriguing. Um, but overall, Sako had a better story, so Sako takes round two. Round three, personal enjoyment and replayability. Which film do I think was better? Uh, which film do I personally enjoy more? And which one would I pop in right now and watch? Now, once again, without a doubt, that would be Sako. Uh, love this movie. can watch this many, many times. It's just a classic, iconic horror movie. Um, Bad Ronald was very interesting. I would actually like to pop that one in and watch it as well. But without a doubt, Sako takes round three. So there's really no need to go any further into this battle, guys. You already know who is going to win, and that is Sako. Sako has defeated Bad Ronald. It has came out on top. Uh, yeah, without a doubt, Sako is just an absolute classic. There's nothing else to really say about it that hasn't already been said, other than it definitely wins this battle. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, Bad Ronald was very fun, uh, very enjoyable to watch, and I would really like to give it another watch. Um, and, you know, dive into it a little bit further on my channel. I'll be doing a review soon, so, you know, go look out for that. Um, so, yeah, Bad Ronald was good, just not even on the same level as Sako. So there you go, guys. There's my battle over Sako versus Bad Ronald. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Please comment down below and tell me which one you prefer. I'm pretty sure I know uh, what everyone's going to say. <coughs> Apologize for that, guys. Like I said, I've been really sick, but uh, I'm pretty sure I know what everyone's going to say. Everyone's going to probably prefer Psycho, um, but if you do prefer Bad Ronald, uh, I would really like to know, uh, you know, why you like it so much and give me, you know, your opinion on it, because um, I really did enjoy the film. I just don't think it was better than Psycho. So, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, Chris Brock will be battling two films of his choice, and that will continue throughout the week with all of our members. I'm the Jay Sloan. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, subscribe. You just watch Late Night Frights. Keep it horror. Peace.